My motivation came from way back, since when I was a child. We used to wake up at 3 a.m. o'clock in the morning to go and fetch water. There are more opportunities for investors and entrepreneurs to invest in and develop the water sector. We need to make sure that all people in Africa and in the developing countries get clean and safe water. No, la nouvelle génération. Nous sommes l'avenir de cette industrie. Water companies in Africa rely on skilled workers to keep their operations running smoothly, but they often struggle with financial constraints that can make it hard to maintain their utilities and infrastructure, as well as to hire and train a competent workforce. In a rapidly changing field, the water industry has to balance competing demands and find ways to train the next generation of water professionals. Water issues are a global problem, and Africa is no exception. There's a growing push to address both new and traditional threats to water resources on the continent. In this documentary, we will meet several dedicated professionals and learn about the important work they do. Rukia, Tumen, Alex and Masaba are from Tanzania and Mali. They all have one thing in common, a passion for water. They know that in a continent where water is often scarce and access to clean water is a daily struggle, they want to make a difference. They are a shining example of a skilled workforce ready to tackle current and future challenges while embracing technical and digital innovations. This is their story. Mwanza, a city located on the southern shores of Lake Victoria in Tanzania. With a population exceeding one million, Mwanza is a crucial hub for the management of water resources in the country. The city is home to the Mwanza Water and Sewage Authority, which is responsible for providing clean drinking water and proper sewage treatment to the city's residents. This is where Rukia works. My name is Rukia Yange, I'm hydro engineer. I studied environmental engineering. I'm working at Mwawasa. We are dealing with so many issues as water resources, water quality, as well as treating water. Mwanza is blessed with abundance of water, of course, thanks to Lake Victoria here, but this city has a scarcity of water because the demand is so high compared to what we are producing at our treatment plant, which is not a happy story for us. Lake Victoria is the sole source of drinking water here, but it is not suitable for direct consumption without purification. Of course, it's a challenge to be here because the pollution here is due to the nature of this area. Because Mwanza is a rock area and people are flowing sanitation water from the toilet directly to the lake. So, of course, we have a lot of work to do here. There are many problems at the lake, so we need a global approach to resolve the health issues because this city is a priority city. We need to get the work done. Four million people in Tanzania lack access to an improved source of safe water, and 29 million don't have access to improved sanitation. To address this issue, professionals such as Alex Cazetta are dedicated to maintaining the integrity of the network's infrastructure and ensuring its continuous operation. Uh, the city water is drawn here from the Capri Point intake station on the Lake Victoria. It is then treated and conveyed to more than 1,000 kilometers long transmission and distribution pipeline. Mawasa is investing in reliable water infrastructure. Rapid urbanization and climate change poses pressure on our services, but we need to expand the coverage. The team's responsibility is a 24-7 job. They are prepared to respond to emergencies such as mechanical malfunctions, search and rescue efforts, and other related extreme events. This is our main water treatment plant in Mwanza City. Today we are able to treat 90,000 cubic meters a day. It is not enough, but we are working so hard step by step to get there. Yeah, insufficient water and sanitation infrastructure have undermined the efforts in cutting pollution in our lake. But our turnaround program is already showing signs of operational improvement. Chimen Amsaki works as a project coordinator in Mwanza. He is responsible for the coordination of the Waterworks project's activities. Today he is visiting the building site of the new Batimba water treatment plant. 
Jimain explains that the construction projects can be very complex as they require perfect coordination and collaboration between numerous people. Mainly, I am deal with the issue of non-revenue water in the utility. I also have the other work to do. One of them is to looking on the progress of this project. I'm happy that this project is progressing well and we are expecting uh, to serve about 450,000 people in Mwanza City. This project is going to make a big difference. For Chimane, looking at the bigger picture is fundamental as many elements need to be taken into consideration. Right now, the building is over 60% finalized and they're planning to have it ready to use next summer. They will be able to treat 40,000 cubic meters of water each day. Once this project finished, we're going to increase the water coverage in Mwanza City and going to improve the living standard of the people in Mwanza. The Tanzanian government is pushing us to finish this project as soon as possible because water is a strategic resource and an essential element in regional security. In Mali, millions of people still don't have regular access to clean drinking water. Even though things are getting better each year, there's still a lot of work to do. Masaba is a bill collector at Somajep, a water company in Bamako. She is the one who collects payments from customers who use the water. Le métier de recouvrement peut être parfois un métier difficile, mais bon, qui euh, nécessite une certaine capacité d'écoute, une certaine flexibilité. J'ai décidé de rejoindre le secteur de l'eau à cause de mon père, qui est vraiment un modèle pour moi dans la vie, qui m'a vraiment conseillé de rejoindre ce secteur, car c'est un secteur en pleine émergence, en pleine croissance aussi. Là, on va se garer. Enfin, là, c'est ma petite place à moi. Donc, euh, même quand je suis pas là, tout le monde sait que là, c'est la place de Massaba. Recently, there's been a problem with people not paying their bills on time. This is hurting the company's finances and profits. It's becoming a big concern. L'eau est gratuite, mais le service de l'eau n'est pas gratuit. Donc, euh, c'est faisant payer sur les futurs investissements pour la société qui vont vraiment permettre aux autorités d'améliorer l'environnement et de booster l'économie. Donc, elle est capitale. Comme dans les autres administrations, on a toujours eu à stocker des tas de registres ici pour des clients, mais sans succès. Donc maintenant, avec un système plus informatisé, nous avons eu la chance d'avoir des logiciels qui nous permettent d'avoir l'état réel de chaque client répertorisé dans nos comptes ici. Quand on peut voir le cas de ces clients qui a à peu près 9 à 10 factures impayées dans son compte, après plusieurs lettres de naissance, plusieurs ordres de coupure envoyées au client, mais sans réaction, maintenant je m'en vais appeler le client. Je suis Massa Bakita, je vous appelle depuis le service recouvrement de la Somagep. À la date d'aujourd'hui, vous avez un impayé de 200 000 francs pour 22 factures non payées. In recent years, Kirumba has changed in a big way. If you look at the hills by the lake, you might see some plumbers working on improving the basic water supply. My motivation came from way back, since when I was a child. I was raised in an area, in the Islam area, called Mabibo. And in that area, we used to wake up at 3 a.m. o'clock in the morning to go and fetch water. It took us like five hours to come back with water. So that wasn't a pleasant situation for a child to go through. And from there, I got my motivation. I said, when I grow up, I want to be a, a hydro engineer to save people with water because I wouldn't want to see my child or anyone from the community to go through the same situation the way I was going through. We are here at Kigoto. It's our area in Kirumba Ward where we are here saving our low-income area community. And in this area, it's very challenging due to the topography of the area. As you can see, we have a lot of rocks. It's a hill area, and it's not flat. So it's very difficult to save these people with water. 
this is an expanding market because most of the area in Mwanza are like this. And we are supposed to save all of this community with water and sanitation as well. We need a sustainable change because we need to involve everybody in this area, not only the people down, but also the people up on the hills. Even though Karumba still has some problems with sanitation, it looks much better now. Rukia says improvements are noticeable. People are happy now as they can see the positive results. As many of the rural villages transform to urban centers, simple technologies such as hand pumps can no longer keep up with the needs of the growing population. It is taking too long to fill the tank. Ah, yeah. Yeah. We have to take the flow of this part. To meet the demands of services in our city, the alternative is to put in place large-scale pipe schemes, which are sometimes costly and complex to manage. With the support of modern technology and equipment, we can be able to maintain our infrastructure. Funding for water utilities has always been a challenge. On the financial side, the Waterworks project is also trying to attract new investments. The major bottleneck has been money, but we are now working with partners to address this issue. Emerging technologies are being developed, which make it easier to achieve water objectives more efficiently. Yeah, I have witnessed the contribution of water operators partnership in Tanzania through innovation, digitization and south-south knowledge sharing. I went on a short mission uh, in Arusha Utility uh, to start and kick off uh, asset management software. To optimize our assets in a, in a cost-effective practice, uh, we need such kind of technologies in place. It's been three years since Mawasa started using smart water technologies to monitor leakages, speed up the repair process and facilitate supervision. As equipment, infrastructure, regulations and customer expectations continue to evolve, water companies must also adjust and adapt accordingly. To meet these expectations, a young, energetic, qualified and dynamic uh, like this plumber have been recruited and they are ready for the job. Digital technologies give water utilities the chance to reimagine the way they run their business by using new processes and tools. My advice to someone seeking a job in this sector is to consider the huge impact you have in the position and go for it. Onboard detection technology provides real-time intelligence and precise monitoring of infrastructure. Head southwest on Makingoro Road. With issues such as non-revenue water entering the picture, modern-day utilities are leaving no stone unturned to increase their efficiency. Turn right. Non-revenue water consists of leakages from all parts of the network system and overflow of storage tanks. For Tumain, transport, communication, reporting, everything has shifted significantly. But new digital technology has brought a sense of security and peace of mind to water professionals. This job is so challenging, but it is also so rewarding. By taking this job, uh, it takes us into the different natural resources, such as hills, in the parks, in the lake, meeting different interesting people. So working in this sector is the best decision I have ever made. Somajep, the Malian drinking water management company, manages drinking water systems across the country. It serves over 300,000 customers in hundreds of communities, like this one. With the vieillissement of infrastructure, the number of people who have been able to get on the terrain, that's where we have a lot of souvent assez difficult. But bon, with the advancement of technology, the method of recouvrement becomes plus fast and plus efficace. After a journey au bureau, I will amène you to a tour sur terrain. Over the last few years, access to piped water in Mali has increased, but the urban population has grown even faster. In the outskirts of Bamako, there are still many households for whom water is a luxury.
Bonjour, monsieur. Vous allez bien C'est le donc mode de la somme Je viens pour une petite vérification. D'accord. Monsieur, vous avez de l'eau chez vous Oui, oui. Je veux allumer le robinet, s'il vous plaît. La bien. Ok. Monsieur, est-ce que vous savez que votre compteur est bloqué Oui, je suis au courant. Et pourquoi vous n'avez pas procédé à la déclaration Là, je savais vraiment que c'était un cas de fraude, car le client, pendant trois mois, il n'avait que des frais d'entretien, raison pour laquelle je voulais savoir réellement si le compteur était défectueux ou opérationnel. Ce sont des cas qui nous rendent la tâche un peu difficile sur le terrain, mais bon, comme vous le savez bien, le climat économique nous pousse vraiment à faire rigueur dans le recouvrement des impayés. Malheureusement, non, je suis obligée de suivre votre Merci de vous rendre à l'agence pour le règlement de vos comptes. Oui, D'accord oui. Merci. Oui, merci. Au revoir. Merci. Each year, more and more Tanzanians are gaining access to better toilets and hygiene facilities. Most of the unmet need is located in rural areas, but even in small towns like Masungwi, this trend is growing. Rukia visits these places regularly to make sure that the toilets are working well and that people are using them easily. It wasn't easy to convince the people to build the toilets, and even in this area, it was difficult. At the beginning, only this mama Aisha accepted this project. But after building the toilet, people are coming because they think this is very effective in the environment. The impact of this is not only on customer bases, but goes beyond to the community as well. The female, the way they are, the technical part of using the toilet for women is quite different from men. So it's very crucial since we are resolving or we are solving, we are helping the women to reduce the menstrual diseases to them. So it's very important to build the toilet like this. On-site facilities are an important step on the way to introducing welfare-friendly practices they are fundamental to changing behavior. In order to ensure sustainability, uh, to have a new professionals who will be working to what I'm doing, it's also to train more hydrologists, as well as sanitation specialists who will raise awareness to the community, as well as saving the community in order for them to continue what I am doing. Asset maintenance is, of course, part of Alex's daily routine. But he also focuses on business plans and strategies to attract investors from the private sector and support progress. Water project is certainly going to increase around the southern shore of Lake Victoria in the coming years. Cooperation of EU and Tanzania is already showing good results. There are more opportunities for investors and entrepreneurs to invest in and develop the water sector. Alex aspires to move up the ranks within the water utility company. He wants to make a difference in the community by improving the quality and reliability of the water service. In the coming five years, I see myself in one of the biggest platforms where my voice can easily influence and can be heard by a potential large group of habitants. I want to make change as a leader somewhere, maybe in one of the biggest international organizations. Ensuring a steady and dependable provision of water to homes and businesses depends not only on processes, technology and equipment. Critically, it also depends on people, and the challenge of retaining seasoned staff is substantial. In a few years, I see myself in a high position at the International Water Institution, working together with Defence Water Profession. We need to make sure that all people in Africa and in the developing countries get clean and safe water. Clean water access still varies across communities in Tanzania, but the water sector has the potential to create new and well-paying jobs, which can play a vital role in shaping the future of Tanzania. Africa has the largest concentration of the young people in the world. With the right training, they can be a catalyst in solving the critical issues hurting their countries. You know, the modern problems require a modern solutions.
When it comes to representing the utility team, there is no better ambassador than Masaba. Colleagues say her ability to connect with customers is second to none. Monsieur, malheureusement, on a note de coupure pour vous. Ah, oui. Vous avez des impayés. Tout s'est très bien passé euh, aujourd'hui. Dans l'avenir, la Soumagé euh, prévoit de faire des études sur des compteurs prépayés, car cela sera plus avantageux pour les clients, car les clients ne paieront que ce qu'ils vont mettre dans le compteur. Et là, cela va nous éviter, nous les agents de recouvrement, de nous déplacer sur le terrain, d'aller effectuer les coupures comme pour aujourd'hui. Masaba has served in her current role for over a year now. She says that the daily variety of the job keeps things interesting. Despite the difficulties that come with being a woman, the opportunity for growth and advancement is also present. Les femmes ont vraiment un rôle crucial à jouer. Nous y trouvons des ingénieurs, des techniciens, des gens de la finance. Nous avons plus de 200 métiers dans cette industrie. Raison pour laquelle nous devons nous rassurer que quand ces métiers seront disponibles, les jeunes femmes professionnelles seront là pour les occuper. Nous sommes l'avenir de cette industrie. The clock is ticking for many operators and water-related employers. Identifying a new generation of workers will be key in the years to come. There is an ever-growing need to accelerate workforce deployment.